Without has recently had a game changer that will have a huge impact on its future. Basically, it will allow Godot to have more budget to continue creating new versions of the software with outstanding new features and also will build massive trust in the game dev community. Stay tuned as today you will know everything about this fact that will make Godot shine even more than it currently is. So first of all, there are two things and both are related to the same company that is Megacrit. Okay, so this is the company behind Slay the Spire. That is a pretty well-known uh, indie game and basically in the first game of uh, Slay the Spire they weren't using the Godot engine um, but well now uh, with the with the second edition of the game they are gonna be using Godot we are proud to support a free open source engine like Godot so that devs everywhere have an accessible yet powerful option to create their projects with our team has learned a lot while mirating our next game to Godot and we are so excited to show off its power. Not only that, but also um, Megacrit, the same company, is now a Godot engine called Sponsor. So if we go to the official website of Godot and we scroll down until the complete bottom, here you can find Megacrit as a sponsor gold. So basically this has, this, these are all companies and somehow uh, some way are um, donating some kind of money to Godot in order for them to be able to do different stuff, improve the engine, improve the website, etc. So that's amazing. Uh, so now let's go into uh, the different points uh, in which this is going to be a game changer for Godot. But before doing that, I would like to uh, show a couple of comments in the Megacrits uh, post. For example, this one is quite curious. I'm a high school teacher and I switched my students to Godot this year and it's been so much more smooth sailing than in years past with Unity. Students worry if any students really use Godot. Glad some really do. So here's the important thing because one of the biggest disadvantages about Godot is that if you then you, if you, then you want to work in some kind of company, there aren't lots of companies that actually work with Godot. They mostly work with Unity or Unreal. Uh, so well, now... Uh, well, we do have other company that is currently working with Godot, and that is amazing. Hopefully, there are gonna be more companies that start using Godot. And then, well, the, the other comments aren't like super important on that they they say a bunch of interesting things. Neither here on the Megacrits post nor in Godot Engine's official uh, Twitter, there aren't uh, much things here to check out. So now let's actually explain a little bit further about how this can actually become a game changer for Godot. 1. Build trust. Basically, trust is something that was quite lost with Unity, with all the runtime fee and everything a couple of months ago. But well, now, of course, with the Godot, we already have a lot of trust in them as it is an open source software, but now even more because quite an interesting company is gonna it's going to be creating its next game in the Godot engine. So it's quite going to build a lot, a lot of trust in the Godot engine. So it's basically going to be like a kind of proof of Godot's potential that is able to create a lot of different games, even if they are a little bit more complex 3D games. Of course, you can't really compare the potential in 3D uh, of Godot with Unity or Unreal. Of course, it's not even close to that. But even, even in spite of that, uh, the Godot potential in 3D is quite good. And we're going to be able to see that in this new game, okay? Also, it's going to build more, more trust because if those graphics and mechanics can be made in Godot, maybe the community and the audience start trying out Godot. They have a material proof that the Godot engine is capable of creating amazing games and quite graphically powerful, so it's worth trying the engine with which the game is currently made. And as I was telling you, it's going to build even more trust due to the fact that Godot is an open source software, so as it isn't owned by any kinds of company, or just one individual or just one company, you're gonna have complete trust because we are, every of us is the owner of Godot actually. So there is no chance that they start charging, uh, they, they, that they include some kind of fee, a runtime fee as Unity did, whatever. We have complete trust that we won't have to pay anything at all. Two, more money. Basically, the second fact why this is gonna be game changer for Godot is that as now they have. Uh, one sponsor or more, okay. They want to have more budget for Godot, basically to do more things that I don't really know what Godot does with the money, but I suppose normal things such as improving um, the website, uh, improving the existing mechanics, adding new mechanics to the engine, 
whatever. So obviously, the more sponsors that Good Old has, the better, the more budget uh, they will have. So as always, having more money is always uh, something positive in terms of uh, software. So this is all for today's video. If you found information here helpful and you are quite excited about this game changer about Goodout, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one and bye bye.